Thank you very much for coming today for this lecture. We shall continue talking about the um, uh, emotional uh, intelligence. So today we are going to talk about the framework very quickly and then we are going to talk about the uh, we are going to talk about the relationship management part of it. So as you all know we have been repeating this again and again this semester. This is the emotional intelligence framework proposed by Daniel Goldman and it has um, in the upper left corner it's the cornerstone of the entire framework which is self-awareness and also you have the social awareness we have also the self-management part and eventually both the social awareness and the self-management hopefully will enable us to have our relationship management and we have mentioned this again and again and again that the relationship management is a very important part of emotional intelligence because it governs how we work with people, how we work and collaborate in teams, and also uh, it's about the quality of the relationships that we have. Um, we have said this a number of times, happiness is really the quality of the relationship that we have. That's what defines a happy person. A happy person is a person who have a happy teacher is a teacher who has a very good relationship with their students. A, a, a happy parent is th those who have a good relationship with their children, and so on, uh, so forth. So we spend quite a bit of time on each and every one of these uh, quadrants, and I really want today to delve further into the relationship, uh, uh, relationship uh, uh, management. So today I want to talk, if I flip back, so in relationship management, we talked about the importance of developing others. We talked, we, we talked about inspirational leadership. Yesterday we also talked about influence and we said that all of us actually, if we really think about it, we want to influence other people. A teacher wants to influence the students to study. The students wants to influence the teacher to understand their difficulties and help them. Uh, 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 one of you said she wants to influence her brothers so that they spend more time with her and, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, a business person would like to influence the customers to buy from them. Uh, uh, a person applying for loan would like to influence the banker to give them the loan and, and so on and so forth. Uh, being change catalyst, being a, an individual or a person who enables change to happen, positive change to happen, able to conflict management, to, to manage the conflict and also to work in, and collaborate in teams. So all this actually work within the uh, relationship management. So what I would like to do today is to focus on two things. I'll start with developing others and inspirational uh, leadership and we will continue for the whatever left w with us for this course talking about relationship uh, management. So in, 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 in developing others you see a lecturer could help you develop yourself. Your parents can help you develop yourself but who else can develop can develop you. A coach can develop you. If you are into sports, a coach will, an emotionally intelligent coach could be, you know, uh, an important factor in you achieving your full potential. Likewise, having the wrong person to be your teacher or your coach could actually kill your potential. Uh, uh, those of us who don't like history or don't like mathematics or wh whatever, if you think about it, you can trace it to the moment in history in your time when a teacher made you hate that module. It's always like that. We, do, we don't come to this life uh, hating math or uh, disliking geography or, uh, or not liking history. It doesn't happen like this. But you go to a classroom 
and a person makes that subject very boring, and then you decide that you are not good at it, and it becomes uh, something that, you know, a self-fulfilling kind of, of, of prophecy. Now, interestingly, you also can develop others. So, you can develop or help develop your brothers, your sisters, the students within, within um, your team, your colleagues. So, for example, if by show of hands, you could tell me uh, any one of you who have received support from their team members, should you raise your hand? Okay, so, 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 so thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I have seen this also on brain rewiring. A number of you have been saying, have been grateful to supportive team members, supportive team members, helpful friends, helpful team members. What does that tell you? This is the time maybe you are planning to give up or you're thinking that this program will never work or this, you know, uh, 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 robot will, you know, we will never be able to do it. And someone come just like an angel, you know, and, and help you with that. That's really part of the, the uh, de developing others. So what I would like to, uh, to do today, I don't want to talk. I want to do it as an exercise and maybe we, uh, we, we either I uh, do it with one of you or maybe I put you in, in pairs where I would like to, every one of you to work with a partner. I'll ask you to, to, to carefully select the partner because there's, there's a potential that this partnership you know, stays for, for the rest of your study. And then I would like you, so if, let's say if Sagdish and I are the partners, I would like first to review his vision and mission. So you guys have submitted those. I would like you to dig these out and let you, you explain it to me again. And then I would like also to review the SOAC, your strength, opportunities for improvement, uh, the challenges that you are facing, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, whatever you have in the uh, environment. And then I want to work with that person, with that partner, to develop a personal development plan that's based on the mission, what you want to achieve, and the, the, uh, the SOAC framework that you have, uh, you have analyzed yourself with. And then we set some SMART goals. Now the SMART goals, I would like them to be very similar to the SMART goals that you, you've set, something until the end of the semester. It could be, I want to make my robot run. I want to complete my, I don't know, chemistry project. I want to maintain my scholarship. I want to, whatever you want to have that, it has to be a smart goal. Now, if you've noticed, what am I using now? I'm using the things that we have learned earlier, the vision, the mission, the self-assessment, how to set smart goal. This is the time to put it together. Now, what I would like you to develop is this partnership that I am going to be committed to him achieving his goals. So after we, he share his goals with me, I'm going to be committed that he achieves his goals. And after that, I would like him to lend me again the listening, the empathy, and then know about my uh, vision, mission, uh, self-assessment, the SMART goals, and he will be committed to me achieving my goals. Now, I would like you to try this really actively for the SMART goal that you will set for the remaining two weeks maybe of our semester. And I would like this to be done in such a way that every week you will send your partner some sort of an encouraging note through a text message, an email, a card, whatever. You just be committed to this. That's why I would like you to select your partner carefully. I want you to, that person that you would like to work with him or her. And then you will be continuing to 
check on what is happening on your, let's say, the goal, that, because the goal, I'll keep a copy with, of it. And I would like you to uh, send him or her uh, an encouraging message at least twice a week. If you want to do it daily, just do it daily. So you say, I believe in you. I have no doubt you will succeed. Um, I will help you in whatever I can. Things like that. And you will see the impact. Now, my advice is, if you are staying together for the remaining uh, period of your study, maybe it's worthwhile that you continue this encouragement partnership. But the key thing here is, when you share your goals with me, and I share my commitment to you achieving your goals, I am developing you. Now, to develop others, not only help others, help the partner, but help the person who is developing as well. And while we are developing or helping others to get to achieve their goals and get developed, you will notice that all the emotional intelligence skills that we have been working on will come not only very handy, but become very necessary. So for me to help him get developed, I have to have the empathy. I have to listen. I have to be able to help him develop smart goals. I have to help him have the accurate self-assessment. Uh, and you will see everything that we have been talking about fits into, into place. Any question about, about this? So let's, let's just show you an example. And um, who would like to do this with me? You want to you do it? Yeah. OK. So you will need your uh, computer, or because I will ask you about all these things. Okay. Yeah. Or, or you remember them? No. Yeah, then you bring whatever data you will, uh, whatever tool you will need. Yeah. You see, uh, emotional intelligence will happen not by you attend the, uh, the, the class and even memorize the, uh, the framework. All these things have to be practiced and practiced and practiced again and again until it becomes a nature. Yeah. So choice is yours. I don't want to force you. Yeah, so you will need your uh, vision and mission and your uh, SOAC, the uh, strength, opportunities for improvement, challenges, opportunities. OK, so, so what was your uh, vision and mission? I maybe you would like to speak to the mic. So, uh, maybe short term? Uh, my short term. Yeah. Please, uh, guys, settle down, please. Yes. Yes. Uh, my short term goal is to uh, finish this course. My vision is to uh, finish this course uh, with line marks. And my mission is to also in influence uh, people on the way. So t your, your, uh, your, your, your vision is to? Uh, to finish this course with, uh, with flying colors. And OK. And, and my, my mission would be to, uh, uh, to do it. Because I get confused between the vi my vision sure, and my mission. Sure, sure. So, uh, it's... So the, the, the vision is, how do you see the world yes. when you are done? Okay. And the mission is, how do you go about achieving uh, that? Yeah, okay, I got confused mm. about that. Mm. So my uh, vision would be to uh, show that I can actually do something uh, that I can, uh, when given a hard course like the engineering, I'll do well. And my mission is by studying well and doing all the assignments properly. Yeah, and you, you mentioned something about doing it with people. Yes. So, so, so you, you want to uh, uh, do well academically. Yeah. So this is a short term, so let's just focus on this. So you want to do well academically, and, um, and you want to do this with, uh, with 
collaborating with other people. So these yes. people would be your lecturers, my friends, your friends, your family, yeah. your, your everyone, okay? Um, doing that, collaborate. So you, wa you want to succeed, but you want to succeed with others. Not yes. only succeed alone, you succeed with, with others. So what was your uh, uh, strength, opportunities, areas for improvement and challenges? My strength was my communication and an understanding of physics. Okay. So strength is communication. Yeah. And your and physics. Yeah. You're good in physics. Okay. Okay. Your uh, uh, opportunities. Yes, I got my uh, parental guidance. I, yeah. So you have uh, your parents. Yep. Are are your opportunity? Okay. Um, uh, your uh, areas for improvement? Uh, my studies and discipline. Your uh, uh, study and discipline? Yeah. And uh, the challenges? Is um, social distractions. Okay. So, so that's very interesting. So the way you are, so now I would like you please to pay attention to how I, I'm doing it with him. This is what, how I suppose that, you know, you have, uh, you don't just simply copy. You, you need to give your input, your, your, your feedback. So what I notice here, you seem to have very good communication. You want to actually collaborate with people towards success, but you also fear social distraction. Yeah. So it means that, you know, to be a people person, someone who is liked by others, but how do you use this social skill positively? So yeah. instead of together, mm. we go and waste so much time, maybe partying or whatever, you could actually dis design our time in such a way that we are maybe together yeah. spending time together, having fun, enjoying each other's company, but contributing towards both of our success. Am I getting you? Am yeah. I reading you right? Yeah. Wonderful. So uh, what was the SMART goal that you set? Now, this is not set in stone. We could uh, visit this. So what is the, the SMART goal? And you remember it was specific, measurable, attainable, oh. realistic, and timely. So the time, if you recall, we said by the end of the semester or by the end of the year, what is the thing that you really oh, want to... My yeah. smart goal was by the end of the year, I would create a 15-minute short, uh, short film. The genre is horror. So this is the smart goal. Now, this is actually an opportunity for us to revisit this. Okay. So what I can see here is that you want to do well academically. That's your like, short-term kind of uh, vision. Yep. You want to do it collaboratively. Okay. Here, your strength seems to quite align to achieving that. Okay. The challenges and the destruction are also very clearly how would they Effect, yeah. they derail this. Yep. Do you think there is an opportunity maybe to revisit your smart goal? Yeah. So maybe it's just a suggestion. When you say I do well academically, can I, I I'm just suggesting I'm not trying to lead you here. Okay. I want you to, I want this to be this is your goal. Yep. I'm I'm just committed to you achieving your goal. So if this smart goal is you want um, CGPA or uh, of, I don't know, 3.5 okay. or 3 or whatever, whatever you feel you are, you are, that would be really your abilities and they are sort of kind of stretched a yeah. bit so that you show you what you can really achieve. So, so that would be very specific, very measurable, 
very timely. We will all know yeah. when the exams are done, everybody's uh, result. Okay. So do you want to maybe revisit yeah. this to become maybe your smart goal? Do you yeah. think this is something that you want to, to do? Yeah. Okay. So, so now, do you see what has happened? We revisited his vision and mission. We identified his uh, ac uh, accurate self uh, evaluation, the SOAC. And then we looked at his goals. We have seen, we drawn kind of uh, uh, some trend or thread throughout. And now his goal is to achieve this CGPA by the end of the year. Yeah. Okay. So now, let's say I am your partner. I would like you to do to do the same thing with with one of your colleagues again. Okay. But let's say I am your partner. What I will what I will check with you. Uh, I will say. Okay. Maybe every other day. So how is your commitment to your goal? And also, I will send you encouraging messages on how I feel that. I have belief in you able to achieving your goal. Now, this may sound trivial, but this is actually what we thrive on as human. When a child is, doesn't walk, you know, not doesn't walk yet, and he or she wants to walk, what, what do you think the, the, the parents say, even if they try to stand and, 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 and fall down? They will say, well done, this is great. Wonderful. Yeah. And that belief in other people's abilities will actually eventually make them you know, achieve what they are looking for. Now, that commitment that your parents are having to you achieving your goals is extremely important. And what we want to do now is for one of us in this room to be as committed for you achieving your goals. And in return, I would like you to be as committed to him or her achieving their goals. Okay, is it clear? If there are any question, I would really like to, to hear from you. So before we go, we will be doing this, you know, all of you, one by one. At the end of the exercise, I would like every one of you to have a piece of paper written that has this the name of your partner, his or her vision and mission, the SOAC for that person, and the SMART goal. And this would be, after you write it, yeah. you will deposit it with me. So I will keep this. Yours, I'll keep it with me. We'll put the date, and I'll keep it with me. And I would like you to please write it on a nice sheet of paper, and please treasure it. Don't just throw it away. Even, even if I'm traveling or I'm like moving from this course, treat it with respect and give it back to the person. Say, look, I want to give this back to you, you know, maybe at the end of the year. But you will notice that this actually, if you really follow it, it will work. And hopefully you will, as you move on, you will have that kind of relationship with maybe with other with other people as you, as you move on. As you continue your journey in life, you will develop others, and others will play a role in developing you. You know, there is a saying, do you know how many, how many people, how many individuals you need to educate one individual? If you think about it, how many people took to make you who you are. You know, a lot. You actually need maybe a million people to educate one person. If you think about it, it's not only your parents and grandparents and your friends. Every book that you read, there is a person who have written it. And that person somehow has educated you, even if you haven't met him. There are people who have played an important role in your life and these people could be dead a thousand years ago. So all, if you are a religious person, the prophets that you are still reading, the text, 
and, and the prayers that they had, they actually played a role in, 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 in your education. The, the, the people who interact with you, the people who sell things to you, everyone is in a way, you know, contributing to your development. Now this could be a positive contribution, it could be a negative contribution. So our role is, how can we be positive contributors towards the development of others? And how can we uh, get the best out of others as well? Okay, make sense? Uh, so any question? Okay, so I presume that there are no questions. And now I would like you to select your partner. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, thank you. So I would like you to select your partner, a person that you would like to work with, and you will end up with this piece of paper and that you will deposit with each other as a sign of commitment towards the development of the other party. So please think before you choose your partner, it goes beyond just where are you sitting now? Yes. Yes. Okay, so there is a question. There is a question. Um, yes. Thank you very much. Can I work with you? Uh, no. Because I would like you to work with someone else that you will really impact him as well. Yeah. So I'm not saying that you cannot develop me, but I want you to develop, some, uh, to, to develop a, a peer of yours. Now, what I will do, I can actually help all of you individually, rather than I just want to work with you. Okay? Thank you. This is a very good opportunity for you to pick who, whom you want to work with. Yeah. Even if they say no, you pick someone else. I want you to try. So what, what I have said is, I want to have every one of you to have a developmental partner. Mm -hmm. So a person, one of the students, yes. to be your partner. You know what's a partner? Yeah, I know. Okay, so that person will know what is your goal. What do you want to achieve? You just now, you told me you want to finish your degree here, right? Okay, so this is your goal. goal. This is your goal, goal. You know what's a goal? Like fish? Or no, or like goal, fish? goal. Okay, okay, you, something you want to achieve, something you want to reach. Like a wish. Yes. Like a wish, yes, wish. yes, yes, yes. This is your wish, yes, yeah. So this is your wish, okay? Now, your wish, let's say, is to finish your degree here, okay? And one person will be helping you to achieve your wish. You also need to help that person back to achieve their wish. Okay? So I want you to select a person that you would like to work with until the end of the semester. I must choose? Yeah. Yeah. So people have to choose each other. So every two are becoming a pair. So you need to choose a partner. Now, the partner has to be happy to work with you. It's just like, you know, a woman and a man to get married they have to both agree so but you need to be connected with one of the students uh, can we can we work with three people no i want one to one if possible yeah uh, yeah one? you why don't you go around and see who does it who does not have a partner yet yeah yeah please please use a nice piece of paper a full paper not just a half paper how would you write everything in yeah, you make it even smaller, huh? No, I want it, I want it a nice piece of paper that you will treasure. Yes, up to you, but this, you know, will have a historical value. You don't have paper, I can give you paper. Yeah, so you are, are you working together? Are you working together? Who's your partner? Okay, two, are you together? Are you together, together, together? Okay, so the person that you work with, I would like you to, you know, face them. Don't just sit next to each other, you know, face them, please. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. Yes. Huh? Feels really awkward. It's all here. So if you have dirty thoughts, it will feel awkward. Yeah, you see? 
So you guys will work together and I will help you achieve this. I'll moderate this. So you can please bring your vision, mission, smart goal. Have you done that or not? No. No. Okay. Have you done that? Um, yes, sir. Yes. So can you bring all this material? The material is not with me now, but... You still remember that. Okay. So let's, let's sit somewhere. Yeah. Madi, you were not very sure on what you wanted to do earlier, right? And now you are, you, you know that you want to finish your studies here, right? So we will help you achieve this goal. So you, you know earlier he was with, with Medina as well. I think Medina has quit this course. She's doing American degree program. Mm -hmm. And I think he, he sort of shared with me that he's, he, he's keen to know on his performance, he's keen on finishing. So, so we, we need to help him achieve um, his goals and also uh, um, uh, conquer the challenges that he has in communication and yeah. Okay, okay. so, um, so could you maybe Start asking him about his vision, mission. Right, sure. Yeah. So, um, so Madi, can you tell me what's your vision? Can you speak to this? And, yeah, yeah. So, Madi, can you tell me what's your vision for this course? Vision, like wish. Okay. So the the vision would be. Do you recall we had one lecture about vision and mission? Yeah, okay. yeah. So maybe you need to go and watch that lecture again. But the vision is, how do you want to see yourself, all the world, let's say in a few years' time? In the future. In the future, yes. I think I who I will be. Mm. Uh, who, you, who you want to be in the future? Mm. Uh, in the future, I want to be. Uh, um, I see that I will be work uh, in some in company. I think. Uh, yes. And my wish uh, work in uh, Dubai. You want to work in Dubai? Yes. Uh, okay. Because my uh, how to say my father's brother have a uh, port port in Dubai and uh, he need in uh, in engineering right. students right yes and uh, my wish my wish work in Dubai okay That's so you, you see yourself working in Dubai as yeah. an engineer yes for your uncle yes for my uncle yes okay so this is your vision wish. or wish yeah we call for this the vision now. No, for, the, for now, okay. Yeah. yeah. So he's going to ask you another question about your mission, which is how do you want to do it? Yeah. Um, what is your mission um, for, like, what, where do you see yourself in a few years? Um, as in, how are you going to achieve this in a few years? So, so, so yeah, so, yeah, okay, okay, try to explain, yeah, it's, it's about the methodology. Um, how, how are you going to get a job in Dubai for your uncle. You you study here, or maybe you study and then get scholarship to Dubai. You know uh, how how you do it. Yeah. Um, I wanna finish my uh, study in Taylor University here, mm. and um, I wanna get uh, diploma. Electric. I, I want to study in degree electric electrical engineering. Okay. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, this job nowadays is very development. Uh, hmm. Like this job, uh, yes. engineering. Right. Uh, and.
as well? Yes. Okay. So now you will go to the SOAC. All right. Yeah. So, so strength, strength, you put the strength here, you put opportunities here, okay, you put areas for improvement here, here, yeah, here, yeah, here, you could just write it like this if you want, just, yeah, simply, uh, areas for improvement. Okay, and the other one is challenges. Now solicit these things from me. All right, so um, Madi, what would, uh, what would you say your strengths are um, in reaching this uh, vision and mission? Uh, would you say you have connections? Uh, would you say that you have um, friends that work in the field? You know, what, um, what helps you get this job? Mm? So what are you good at? Mm. What are you good at? Yeah. What are you like so, so you want to be an electrical engineer, yes. right? So you need to study, and it's it's not an easy course, right? You say it's yeah. quite tough. So, what are you good at? What are your strength to help you achieve this wish? For example, I must study uh, better and right. Uh, yeah, that's what you do. But yeah. what you are good at yeah like maybe you are good in mathematics or you are good in physics or you can think very quickly you know what you good at what you good in uh, you just tell me what are you good in like maybe you're good in maths or maybe you like to handle electric stuff you like to fix electric yes. things so you like to fix electric things huh? all right so Um, do you like um, maths or do you have also you have connections your uncle is uh, works in Dubai is it yes. and he needs engineers is it yes. okay sorry uh, ju just just an interjection uh, a strength normally is something within us that helps so this ankle could be an opportunity Pardon? It's an opportunity because this is something, oh, this something outside. outside. Ah, right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but but you, your questioning is perfect. Is really teasing out the relative stuff. Right, right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. So Madi, would you say you are good in maths, good in physics, or do you like studying? I like more study physics subject and because uh, I think in my prof my profession my electric electric electrical engineering uh, the important subject is is physics subject. Mm. Mm. The subject is important, but do you like physics? As in, do you enjoy? Do you like doing physics? Yes, yes, I like physics. Um, Yes. Alright, Let's move on to your opportunities, yeah? Alright, so um, just now we already mentioned has connections. Alright. So um, what would you say your opportunities are um, for you to work in Dubai like how would it um, how would the outside world benefit you like maybe your uncle works in Dubai or maybe you have um, friends that have worked in airlines that can bring you to Dubai cheaper and things like that so how would you say um, opportunities come for you do you know what's an opportunity uh, no it's like develop 
So an opportunity, you would you like to try to explain opportunity to him? I'm, I'm kind of thinking of yes. a way to... Okay, so opportunity is something that you have nothing to do with. Okay. But it's there to help you. Like for example, your uncle, you know, you have an uncle in Dubai, he doesn't have an uncle in Dubai. So suddenly you have... Easy for stuff. It's easy for you, yes, yes. Okay. Something that makes it easy okay. to achieve your mission, whether your mission is work or to become rich or whatever, but that, this mission, this opportunity makes this easy. And okay. it's not you, someone else is helping you or, or something is happening in the, in, the, in the world. So beside this, do you have other things or this is the only one that you have? For me, will opportunities for me. It will be uh, firstly my diploma that I studied uh, in engineering. Yes. It's so it's that's in the future when you get it, the yes. degree, right? Yeah. When I will get. Yeah. It. Yeah. When you will get it, you think when you complete it, yes, it, will... it will be okay. opportunities for me. Okay. Right. Right. So now, now mm -hmm. let me just try to maybe rephrase this because you don't have this degree yet. Okay. Okay. But I think you are lucky. You think that I like it? Yeah, you're lucky. You are lucky. Because my uncle... No, no. not only your <laughs> uncle. I think, I think you have a very good ah, development yes. partner. Yes. Okay, so he's very committed to your development. Yeah. So can I say that because you are here, ah, this is a very supportive environment, and we have a developmental partner for you, then you will be having, that's an opportunity for you because if there is somewhere else, people are impatient, they don't speak slowly to you, you actually, you could just get... Yes. Yeah. Uh, so do you know his name? Rex. Yes. yes. Uh, okay. We work in uh, group robberies. Yes. So uh, can you say that he is an opportunity? Yes, of course, he is an opportunity for me because... Yes. Firstly, he is uh, agree agree with uh, work with me. Yes. Uh, agree with uh, become uh, partner with me. Yes. And he is very patient. 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 He doesn't get angry. And he. Ah, yeah. then, yes. So that's very good, isn't it? Yes, because okay. uh, here uh, some people uh, when I speak uh, slowly, when I speak. Uh, yes not understandly. Yes. Uh, some people don't want to speak with me. Yes. But Rex want to speak with me and uh, work with me. Good. Good. I think it's an opportunity for me. Good. And, uh, Good. How to say? Uh, he's asked for me uh, some question uh, which I, I didn't understand. I didn't understand, but uh, he's uh, explained me, uh, and I understood understood very uh, very well. Yes, good, very good, good. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Right. So, um, so now we go to areas of improvement. You know, like um, where you think you can be better. Like maybe. Um, for example, you, your maths is not good, so you can improve in your maths. Or maybe, um, you know, your, your hands are shaky, and you can, like, uh, try to keep your hands more stable. You understand? Yes. You understand? Okay, so where do you think you can improve? What I must do for... Improving. Yes. So, so what is the thing that you are now maybe not not so so good at? Can I say what I want to improve? What do you want to improve? Yes. What do you want to improve? Yes. Yes. Uh, I want to improve my first my English English and uh, I want to understand uh, each classes uh, which. Here, uh, like chemistry, math, and physics. Mm. Uh, and I want to improve my education. Right? 
education, yes. So can I say, English is really the key, because when you improve English, you can improve physics, yes, the yes. chemistry, you the project, everything. Yeah, yes. Because English is at the heart of everything. You know, you need to communicate with people. Because each each teachers, each teacher uh, speak English, and yes, and the students Firstly, also I must, speak. English. I must improve my English. Okay, good, very good. You you are right on the dot. This is a very good area for improvement. Well done. Yeah, yeah. good. Yes. So, is there anything else you want to improve in? Yes, the, nowadays I want to improve only this. Good. Uh, so you want to focus? My, yes, focus in my study. Mm. Yes. Okay. Good. So now we move on to your challenges. Okay. So basically, um, what challenges you face um, that will make it harder for you to get a degree? You know, because your mission is to get degree. Okay. Challenges is what makes getting degree difficult. What makes it hard? Understand? Yeah. And and that's not within you. It's in the environment. Mm. So it's not the challenge that maybe your English needs to be improved, but something else that is outside. Mm. They, there may be none. But if there is any, we would like to mm. to, to write it. Like maybe. Um, Sorry. Yeah. Challenges. It's like useful. No. Um, challenges is like when you study yes. and then people talk to you yes. uh, people is challenged because it makes you study uh, doesn't make you study well doesn't make you study good understand what's a challenge okay yes. so um, what challenge uh, makes it hard to get a degree to get degree in electric engineering you understand okay. I think yes Uh, Let me give you another example. Let me give you another example. So, remember you told me you like to eat horse meat. Yes. So maybe there's no horse meat. This is a challenge. Maybe, maybe it's not necessarily, yes. but something like that. Something like outside because the food here, maybe you don't like it, and that's a challenge for you. Here. Can you repeat, please? Okay. You remember you told me you, you like yeah, to eat horse meat? Yes. Okay. So there are some people, maybe if they don't eat the, the food that they are used to, they cannot focus, they cannot study. So this could be a challenge for you. Could be. Um, a challenge could be, for example, um, uh, the economy in your country. Example, mm -hmm. example. Is not doing well, maybe. Yeah. And then okay. the you won't have enough money to complete your degree. This could be a challenge. But maybe there is no challenge, it's also okay. But what we want, you, we want you to do, we want you to think of what may give you trouble, what may stop you from achieving your goal. You, you understand? Uh, the challenge... For example, uh, uh, what am I say? Which challenge uh, here? Um, challenges that are around you, like maybe oh, um, aircon is on. Uh, too cold, cannot study. Something like that. So aircon being too cold is a challenge, you know? Something like that. Um, the challenge here, uh, I think, that all all people all people speak English. Mm. Yes. yes, all people speak English, and uh, this challenge right. from here. Yes, uh, and um, here is uh, in Malaysia. It's, uh, the different traditional, uh, the dis different than in Kazakhstan. The culture is different. Culture, yes, different. yes. Traditional yes. culture yes. is different. And this is giving you some difficulty to adapt. You finding it a bit difficult to fit in? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
and um, the country I think is uh, very different than my country. Right. Uh, you mean the weather? The weather? Is it maybe yes, hot we here? Weather is all of uh, people. Right. Uh, how to live for all people. Right. Uh, it's different. Different. Yes. Okay. 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 So that's a challenge. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So smart goals is basically where you see yourself in. No, I, I think what, what I wanted for this session is something to achieve by the end of the semester. Yes, just so that you will be helping him achieve it. You have a commitment for him achieve that goal. Okay, mm. sure. Which so could be something related to studies or to his English. All right, to him, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So, Mandy, we, we now are doing SMART goals, okay? So, SMART goals is um, what you want to achieve by end of semester. Like, maybe by end of semester, you want to speak better English, you want to be better in chemistry, or maybe you want to be better in maths, you know? Just what you want by end of semester. Okay, you understand? Uh end of semester I want to uh, speak better speak English better and uh, I want to know uh, the physics and math uh, subjects uh, because uh, chemistry subject is uh, for me it's not I think it's not important because I, I want I, I will study in electric electrical engineering and uh, how to say? Uh, and I, I don't like chemistry. I, I will be saying true. Okay. Uh, I don't like chemistry. And but, uh, but I think uh, that end of sem this foundation semester. Uh, my chemistry subject will be improved mm. uh, because I must study the chem chemistry and uh, I, I will be uh, I will pass pass my exam. Yes, you have to pass. Yes, yes, I have to pass. Yes. So, so can we say that you want to pass chemistry at least, but you want to achieve better mark in? Physics, math, and English. So, so chemistry, you want to pass. Yes. But physics. Physics, math, and English, I want to will be better than chemistry. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So you want to achieve good mark in physics, math, and chemistry. Uh, physics, math, and English. Yes. I but want chemistry. To yeah. The, the yes. My the best marks. Right. But uh, if. If I will, if I will pass uh, physics just to pass, it will be bad for me. Right. I will okay. feel bad. Right. If I will pass uh, chemistry just to pass, it is okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. I will don't worry for this. Okay. Okay. Uh, I may I may not agree with you, but I understand your goal. Okay. okay? Yeah. This is okay. Okay. All right. So, is there any other goal you want? Like maybe you want to fit in with Malaysian culture, you know? Or maybe you want to know how to speak BM. You understand? Any other yeah. goals you want? Maybe you want to speak... Um, the language The here. language here. Yeah. Or maybe you want to fit in with culture here. You want to fit in with tradition here. Maybe? Is there anything else? Any other goal? Uh, no, that's all. Uh, but I don't want... Uh, I don't want to study Malaysian. It's I don't know if it's okay or not, but because it's uh, in future I don't uh, I will not uh, need in this language. I think okay. I think. So let me let me let me give you something. Actually, what what he's saying is a very nice thought. So you will be spending five years here. Yes. So he say, would you like to understand the culture more so that it doesn't remain a challenge for you? So instead of this be, remains a challenge because it's different people, they eat different things, they do different things, maybe you can learn. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now that would be one thing. The other thing is, imagine that your uncle opened a branch of his company here mm -hmm. in five years. You don't know, right? Yes. You will never know. Then suddenly the fact that you have this experience in Malaysia make you even more valuable to him here, more than Dubai. You don't know. Yeah. So I, I propose to you that you don't discount this opportunity. So how can you change this from maybe a challenge to an opportunity? That the fact that you are studying in Malaysia and you could learn the language. Yes. Now the language, uh, Bahasa Malaysia, is spoken not only in Malaysia, but spoken in Indonesia. Yeah. And if you know the language, you could easily do business or represent your uncle's company there. So this is, you know, maybe not a goal for the end of the semester, but at least something for you to think of. So instead of seeing yourself as, you know, remaining a foreigner, you get your degree and go to Dubai, maybe you want to start going out with these guys and see what do they eat. Maybe try the food, maybe you like it, you will never know. So that's, 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 that's just a thought he's trying to plant in your head. Yeah, yeah. Is there, is there a possibility that your uncle will open a company here? You actually don't know, maybe, right? Yes, maybe. Yeah, maybe economy but, changes, yes? Uh, I will study here uh, yeah. five years. Yes. And I know that uh, if I, now if I don't want to study Malaysian mm -hmm. English, uh, after, after five years I will know the little bit of language, I know yeah. that. Or maybe you can, you will get a Malaysian wife? Malaysian what? Wife. Wife? Mm. <laughs> no, uh, maybe, I don't know. You don't know? Yes, I don't mm. You see, this is going to be recorded. And who knows, in five years we all watch this and we will laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. So, so, so now, um, this actually what you've done for him, I would like you to keep this. And what you will do, you will every other day, just when you see him, tell him that you believe that he can improve his English, you believe that he can improve his physics and math. You believe in him. He's a very good person, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yes. And keep on doing that. If you could do it verbally. Do you have his phone number? Number? You have you have a mobile phone? Yes. You exchange number? Yeah. 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 So maybe you send him a text? Yeah. Definitely. And maybe you give him a card? A card? Yeah. Or or a note? Yeah. 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 Okay. Now what I want you to do is to do the same thing. Go ahead. I'll help you. I must. Uh, ask yes. Him. Yes. So you ask him about his mission, vision. So what did he do? You see, he wrote his, your name here on this piece of paper. So now you write his name like he did. Ask him about what his uh, vision is, what his mission is, what are his strength, opportunities, areas for impro improvement, challenges, and what is his smart goal by the end of the semester. Try and we will both help you. Okay, uh, what is your vision? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, so my vision is to um, to one day to one day change the world for the better understand make the world better okay so that's my vision So my mission, mission, yes. yeah, mission, M I S S I O N. Okay. All right. So, um, my mission is to, um, to get a degree in mechanical engineering. You understand? Yes. Get degree in mechanical engineering and to, um, to use it, to use mechanical engineering as a way to change the world. Understand? 
use mechanical engineering to change the world. Mm. Get degree in mechanical engineering. It's M-E-M-E-C-H. E. Okay, the mechanical engineering and change. Yeah, sure. Yep, uh, there's an E here. Yeah. And M E C H A N I C A L, no H here. No H. Okay. And, and maybe Rex has already cha have changed the world, right? So if he will become a helpful person in you getting your degree, that will change the world. Understand? You see the world. How do I change the world? We change the world by impacting people. He cannot go and... How, how can he change the world? You smile when he say he wants to change the world, right? Yes. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's good that... It's good that uh, he, he have a big wish. Yes. Uh, it's very good. Yes. Uh, he has an aim in yes. the future. Yes. Uh, Yes, and uh, I believe that he will change the world <laughs> in mechanical engineering. Yeah, or maybe this work that he is doing with you will change maybe. your world. My yes, you know, I, I actually believe that Rex will help you achieve your dream. Uh -huh. Which is to get your degree on time and improve your English. Now. When he help you, he has changed the world already. Do you, you get what I mean? Okay, I understand. Okay, good. So now you need to move to the next part. You ask him about, maybe you can draw something like that. Yeah. Um, I think my strength is that I have um, I have passion for making for I have a passion for harmonious living you know I have passion for harmony understand harmony. I have passion for peace understand peace P-E-A-C-E -E, peace mm, you understand what is peace Peace, I think in, uh, in Russian, near, near. You know, near? Yeah, yeah, I know. Mir, it's peace. Near in... Okay, okay. Uh. You understand? Yes, I understand. So, you okay, know, so it's not war, it's peace. Okay. Peace, yeah. It's peace, you know? How to say in Russian? Druzhba. 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 Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I have a passion for peace. So you can write that, huh? Uh, have passion for peace. Okay, uh, C E P E A C C E. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and another thing is that um, I enjoy 
working. Uh, hold on. I enjoy. Oh, I like. I like physics as well. I enjoy physics. Like physics. And I I really like helping people. Okay. <laughs> Do you like to work in Dubai? Dubai. <laughs> you just yeah, sure. I'm, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> okay. So um, my opportunities would be that I have um friends that support me. I have friends, you can write friends that support Support PP SUPP O R T R T Okay You know what is support? Help Help yes. Help, yeah He needs help when he needs help mm. Yes So Um Another thing is that um, I would say I have. Mm, oh, there are good facilities for me to learn. You understand what are facilities? Um, facilities is like classroom, classroom, um, library, library, computer on campus. That is facilities. So facilities, uh, facilities on campus are good. Is good. Understand? Ah, uh, there we go. How school facilities? F A. F A. C I. C I. L I. T I E S. T I E S. Hmm. Ah, uh, are good. A R E. Okay. Okay, and um, I have um. I have passionate friends. Understand what is passionate? Passionate. Passionate is like um, when I like something. Like I like to take vid. I like to take pictures. Correct. That means I have passion for taking pictures. Understand? Like you like uh, fixing things. Like fixing electrical things. It means you have passion for fixing electrical things. Yeah. You really Understand? like it. You really, 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 like, really, really it. like it. This uh, so is passion. Not only that like is passion. it. Really, really, really like it. Yes, so that's passion. You understand? Yes. Okay, so uh, passionate friends. P A S S I O N O N A T E. Yeah, friends. Okay, so you want to ask me about my areas of improvement? Uh, what is your areas of improvement? What is your areas of improvement? Then, uh, how to say? Okay. So, um, my areas of improvement would be um, in terms of my um, discipline. You know what is discipline? Okay, so you write um, discipline. D I S C I C I It's okay, just cancel it. D I S C I. Yeah. P L I N E. L I N E. N E. Ah, okay. And I will also like to improve on my uh I'll I like to be less lazy. You know why it's lazy? Yeah. yeah, you just write uh laziness. Uh, L A Z I Z I N E S S. I'll come back. All right. Just okay. Yeah. So, um, discipline, laziness, and I would so like guys, to guys, you are done. I presume understand you are done. better. Yeah. Okay. Show me. Show me the pic the papers. Show me the papers. I presume you are done with the name of your uh, your uh, friend on the paper. I presume you are done. Okay. So yes, uh, you okay. want to ask me make about sure challenges? That you are done. I'm going to get you all uh, to talk about challenges? it. Please make sure that you are done because I see you. My doing challenges other things. would be yes. that. Sorry, um, yes, yes. Everyone is going to talk in front. Yes, um, yes. my friends are. Yes. Yeah. Um, so please social. make sure that the paper is ready. You know what is social? Yes. yes. So okay, you are done. Social. You, who, where's your partner? You're done, right? Yeah. Yes. Distraction. Okay, where's, where's his paper? 
Yeah. You know what is distraction? Sorry? Where's the, where's means, this paper? Um, when I'm working. Yeah, but where's the paper? And then I see people yeah. running. You have to write so it down, work, please. I'll look. Oh, this is not something that you remember. I want a Understand? piece of paper okay, social with the date of today. Okay? Having the name of your, your, your friend on it. Yep. And I'll also write um, mm, computer games. <laughs> You understand, right? <laughs> okay, so next would be smart goals. Um, right, so what is your smart goals? You just write down there. So we, we, we do something by the end of for the end of the semester. So we yeah. really know when we achieve it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good. So um, I want to. Pass in flying colors. You know what is flying colors? Flying flying colors is uh, it means good results. Results good. Okay, so flying colors pass in. Oh, not in. Uh, pass with. Cancel in with. Yeah, T H. Flying. F L Y I N G. Why? Why? Oh, hold on. Uh. F L Y I N G. F L Y. Okay. Colors. C O. Color. Yeah, color. Okay. Yeah. And another one would be to. So, so sorry for this to be specific. Mm -hmm. So for someone flying colors is four. Some oh, yeah. two point five true, is true. already great. Okay. Yeah. Um, pass with flying colors. Um, above. 3.0 C G P A You just write C G P A Yes Okay You know what C So C G P A stands for Cumulative Grade Point Average So here We give you the mark Out of 4 So if you have 3 out of 4 Is almost like 75% This is like an A if we if if you get four means almost full mark. This is like the highest because A plus is like hundred percent. Yes. So when people say three, so the pass is two. Because because maximum is four, so pass is two. Three is two is fifty percent. Yes. Three is seventy five percent, which is very good. Three point five even better. Four means perfect. You have done very very well. Okay. Understand? Okay, my next smart goal is to make family, make family and friends. And friends. Proud. Proud. P R O U D. Proud is like when. No, no. Proud is when you feel happy for the other person. Like when. Um, like let's say you get um, you get straight A's. Like you get very good results. I am proud of you because you get good results. Uh. P R O U D. Uh, that is proud. Okay, so I think that's it for me. So I think that's all my smart goals. So uh, you will keep this piece of paper, and I will keep this piece of paper, and I will. Yeah, I will remind you as well. So what I want you to do is, when you take his number, you just write to him, maybe tomorrow or the day after that, that your smart goal is to pass with flying colors. I believe you can do it. Okay? You can prepare him a card and say, before the exam, I wish you... Good luck for the exam. I believe in you. I know that you can do it. Just encourage him. And he will encourage you back. In relation to the goals that we agreed upon. Okay? Okay, good. Come. Yeah, good. Please do that. So, that was, uh, I hope, a good exercise for all of you. Now, what I will want you to do, I will go from the back to the front, everyone will come. 
So let's say I'm your partner, and I say, your SMART goals are, one, two, three, read it. I believe in you, I believe you can do it. And the other person will read that for you and say, your SMART goals are these, I believe in you, I believe you can do it. Sorry, just the SMART goals, yes, just the SMART goals. Okay, please listen to me, please listen to me. From now on, again, as I told you, I won't be able to go and check your mobile phone or you have, but I, what I want you to do is to really support that person. Maybe in two days, send him or her a text message and say, your smart goal is to achieve this, to run the marathon. I actually believe that you can do it. And continue doing this until these couple of weeks that we have until the exam. That's all I want from you. Now, if it works for you and you want to continue this, if it works and you want to use it with your siblings, your other friends, you are more than welcome to use it. You are free to use that, th that method. But what I want you to just remember, everything that we learn about emotional intelligence, if you don't practice it, it's worthless. It's worthless. It's not by memorizing the framework, it's actually by practicing it, we all become better people. So I will start from here. Can you please come here, stand here in front of every one of us, read his goals. So you say, you say his name, read his goals and tell him, people, you have to pay attention, please. Yeah, tell him that these are your smart goals. I believe you can do it. And, and say it, just the goals. Okay. okay, please listen to me, because the questions asked as if, okay, when you, when you, are you, are you ready? Yes, so please, you will say, so and so, your goals are, you read them, and I believe you can do it. Now, if you want to say something to that effect, is up to you. I leave that to you, but you say it like you really mean it, yeah, come. So, so while they are talking, you just, just focus on them, don't just look into your, your goals. Yeah. So, so you face him. Yeah. Um, Darren cannot go. Um, your, your smart goal is to go overseas and graduate there after completing foundation and two years degree for and two years degree for two years, get good grades do well in studies and next three years. And I believe you, you can do it all. Suri Chong, your smart goals are to get graduate at overseas, get graduate foundation this year and proceed to degree for two years or like that. Get good result of foundation in engineering. Need to study hard, starting in, uh, starting now in two or three years. And I believe that you can do it. Thank you very much. Now, now what, what I, I wanted, wanted to just, just add here, you know, the smart goal we say it has to be measurable. Yeah. So, good results mean like fifty percent good, sixty percent good, because the good differs from one. So if you if you actually declare what kind of CGPA you want to achieve. Then this becomes, and he will always believe that you can do it. Even if it's full mark, he can believe that you can do it. Okay? So I would invite you to do that. So please keep that piece of paper and please continue encouraging each other. Okay? Yes. Sugdish, come. Yeah. Everyone has to do it. We won't leave until everyone has spoken. So please get ready. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my invitation to you is, please treat that piece of paper with respect. If you want to put it in, in a plastic kind of uh, a protection uh, file, I'll, I'll encourage you to do that. Yes. <laughs> like a proposal, yes. <laughs> yes. Can you please stay with us? Thank you. Uh, Roger Suraj. Your smart goal is I will, you will study hard and smart so that 
you can get good results in your final. Your CGPA will be 3.5 and above. I believe you can do it. Good. Um, Sukdish, your smart goal will be, I will be going to gym for two hours per day for five days a week until of my foundation and at the end of the result, I will be in shape. And the second one is, I will be revise my subject using the exercise book that I brought and I will get 3.5 uh, uh, CGPA above in my finals. I believe that you can get it. Uh, you can get it. Okay, thank, thank you very much. much. Thank, thank you. you. So, so you are, are with? with? Yeah, please come. Amma, your smart goals are to get a seven digit value in your account, okay. be your F1 engineer, get back your apps, and change your person's life. I don't just believe you can do it, bro. I know you can do it. Dear Ricky, your smart goal is um, to get a CGPA of 3.0 and above. And so to get a nice and pretty girlfriend, I believe you can do it, and I will support you all the way. Wonderful. Bro. Well done. Thank you very much. Alim, uh, your smart goal is to study hard and get a CGPA of 3.5 and above in your final. Yeah, in your finals, and. Yeah, and your second smart goal is to ride a Ducati superbike. And, uh, awesome. and I believe you can do it. Tan, your smart goal is to finish yourself learning Arabic language and in order to write at least one essay using this language and able to talk with someone else with this language within your social circle, hopefully an Arabic Arabian by the end of this year. Uh, Tan, I think you can do it. I believe you can do it. You are learning Arabic? Yeah. Okay, well done. Uh, Kaki, your smart goal is to able to get a 85% for all your results in, in different aspects like in tests quiz and examination and the another one is ask more questions and do more research on big subject and lastly you are able to learn new knowledge every day with different expert topics and I hope you can do this. You don't hope, you believe you oh. can do it. I, I believe you can do it. Yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, can I, your smart goal is to finish and submit all your report on time, making a study timetable, getting along with your friends, maintain your fitness, and get your result more than 3.5 in CGPA. And I believe you can do it. Wonderful. Thank, thank you very much. much. Safa, your your smart goal is to achieve a CGPA of higher than 3.5, preferably 3.8 or 3.9 by the time you graduate from your degree and above 3.6 for your foundation. You want to graduate overseas with first class honor and you want to become a combat engineer in overseas. And do you, you believe, believe he can, can do, do it? it? Yes, bring it on. Do you you see it, it, I believe, I believe you, you can, can do, do it. it. I believe you can do it. Yes. Why ho? Your smart goal is to form a car club with the number of members reaching 100 within the first week alone in 2014. And I believe you can do it. Uh, Nicholas' smart goal is work hard and achieve a CGPA of 3.5 and above to make a one-hour films with my friends, get to know as many people as I can, and respect them. I believe you can do it. William Chin. I've known you for four months and I've known that your smart goals are to study well, understand the tough subjects such as chemistry and maths and get a CGPA of 3.5 and above. And you want to graduate this course without failing any subjects. I know you can do it. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Merlin, your smart goal is to pass all challenges that you found during semester one. And I know you can do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your smart goal is to be positive in everything and to never waste money on something like a phone due to your own fault or carelessness. I believe we can do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. So, Tia, your smart goal is to get CGPA 3.0 above for every semester, completing foundation and degree in times and for your study abroad. So, I believe in you and I know you can do it. <laughs> So Arisha, your smart goals are to get good results, CGPA 3.5 above, uh, getting scholarship and studying abroad. I believe in you and I know you can do it. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Ref, to your smart goals are to get a better result in your foundation program and to achieve a scholarship. Also to get a minimum of CGPA for 3.5 and to become a successful engineer. And I know you can do it. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, so Satish, your smart goals are uh, work hard and get a CGPA 3.6 and above and complete composing your second song, which is country. I believe in you. I know you can do it. <laughs> okay, dear Farah, your smart goal is to obtain a CGPA of 3.5 and above and to read a horror novel by the end of the year. And I believe you can do it. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Ashwin, your smart goal is to obtain a scholarship by end of the semester to continue your degree in Taylor's and you also want to be a healthier person and your third smart goal is you want to have your own company at the age of 26 which produce solar powered wireless routers uh, I believe in you and you can do it <laughs> okay, Priya, uh, your smart goal, first smart goal is to you want to be a top student by the end of the semester, and you want to do well in all your projects, and you want to be even more fit physically. Uh, your second smart goal is you want to be a better athlete, and you want to represent Taylor's in many sports events. And yeah, then your final smart goal is you want to be a very su successful person by becoming a well-known and respected chemical engineer. I truly believe you can do it. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, first, uh, Rex, I believe that what you want, you will get this. And uh, I also want uh, that you pass with flying colors above 3.0 CGPA and make family and friends proud, be good in dodgeball and manage money well. And you believe he can do it? Yes. You say it. You say it. Yes. Say it. I say it. You say to him, I believe you can do it. Uh, you I are believe very important because your support and you will help him develop. So do you believe he can do it? Yes, I believe that you can do it. Good, yes. Okay, uh, Madi, your smart goals are to speak better English. Uh, you want to improve in chemistry. You want to get good marks in physics, maths and English. And you want to have many local friends and be able to talk to them. And I believe you can do it. I really believe you can do it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. So uh, Hans, his smart Hans' smart goal is to finish FIE as soon no, as. No, it's possible. not. Hans, your smart goal is. You, this is personal. Hans, Hans your, your smart, smart goal. Go up. Oh, is to finish foundations uh, engineering as soon as possible and also to travel to Europe. I believe you can do it. Navin, your smart goals are three point five GPA this semester, yeah. finish your robot as soon as possible, and work out for your body. <laughs> and? Work out for your body. And? You can do it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. OK, okay. Thank, thank you. You, you see that I, I'm, I, the reason why I'm inviting you to take this very seriously, because this work has been recorded. It will really be there forever. So when. This is going to be on open learning on, on YouTube. We can check whether you achieve the SMART goal or not. I do, I do. Yes, that, that, that's great. And, and also, when we see ourselves 5, 10, 20 years from today, we'll, you know, we'll see how much we have developed. 
Well, it, it may be funny, it may, be, it may not be, but we will know how much we have <laughs> developed and hopefully how much the others have played a role in developing us. Please, carry on. William Song, by this year end, you will score four flats for the final. And then, another goal is, you will, be, you will become 65 kg by this year end. By exercising two hours per day. And one more is, helping a friend and lead them to the right road. And I believe you can do it. Good. Eugene, uh, by the end of the semester, I, you can you want to improve your practical skills, which is no, which is, has no reduce for more than once. And by the end of this year, you will go to bed before 12, FM, 12 a.m. I believe you can do it. Okay, thank you. Jai, your smart goals are to get CGPA of 3.3 and to study overseas in two years' time. I believe you can do it. Uh, Kayan, your smart goal is to achieve good results and get a CGPA of at least 2.8. I believe you can do it. Good Wonderful. luck. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Bian, your smart goal is to get a CGPA 2.8. And I believe that you can do it. Eunice, your must goal is to get a CGPA of 2.5. And I believe you can do it. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you very much. Um, Xing Fong, your smart goal is to get CGPA of 3.0 for your first semester. And I believe you definitely can do it. Good. Tissue, your smart goal is to uh, get CGPA of 3.5 at the end of first semester. And I know you will do it. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Okay. Uh, Baron, your smart goal, uh, you want to. Uh, do well for your academic, especially for physics and chemistry, and get a CGPA above 3.5 uh, for FIE. And you want to gain weight, and I believe you can do it. Matthew, your, your smart goal is study hard to get CGPA 3.5, and then successful become an engineer before 30 years old and graduate in time. I believe you can do it. Wonderful. So everyone has spoken? Okay, give yourself a huge round of applause. Now, now I, I, I really would like to invite you to take this exercise seriously. It actually has a magical impact than when people tell us that they believe that we can do things. So I, I invite you to, to do it. I invite you to be as colorful as you can in developing others. So don't wait for Amar to send you the message, even if he didn't do it. You send him the message. You send him the card. You see him. You remind him always of the paper that you keep with you, which is his SMART uh, goals. So this is just to remind you, this was part of our relationship management. This whole thing is about emotional intelligence. How do we have an impact on others? How do we have high quality relationships in our families, with our friends, loved ones, and also within our teams? So this was one of it, which is developing others, which I hope uh, you could even, you could leave them the messages on open learning. I, I'll leave it to you. You be as creative uh, as uh, you wish or as you can. The other part, which is inspirational leadership. So by next week, Friday, I would like you to be able to tell us a story, a two-minute story about an inspirational leader. Now, an inspirational leader is not necessarily a prime minister or a president. Leadership is about influence, someone who actually can influence others. It could be a, a it could be a teacher, it could be your parent, it could be uh, someone who has done something good uh, here in your hometown, in your country, if you are not from, from Malaysia. We want to hear especially about the people that we normally don't know about. So a mother that, you know, um, works two jobs to ensure that her kids get education. I think this is quite an inspirational form of leadership. 
So I really hope that uh, by Friday, we will, everyone will just do two minutes. So it's not a, so I don't want you to view this as a project. Just someone that you think has an, 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 uh, an influence. So for example, I just share with you this, this story that has touched me a few years ago. I, uh, uh, some, from, some, from time to time, I go and buy dinner from a small place near where I stay. So it's, it's like a, a numerous stalls, but I buy normally from that specific stall. So I went there and I asked for um, that fried rice, and uh, the lady said, yes, she, I'll do it. And then it took actually longer than it normally takes. So I asked her why it was late. She said, no, but it's here, right? I say, yeah, yeah, but what, normally you are not that late, and I see you walking from far. So when I probed further, I realized that she didn't have my fried rice on that day. But she didn't want to tell me they, they finished. They went to another, she went to another stall, and she bought me that fried rice from another stall, and actually gave it to me. I thought, this is like an amazing customer service. And to me, I thought even, even at the MBA won't teach this. I thought this was really impactful. So it could be simple stories like this. So I want you, the simplest the story, the better. So I don't want you to tell me about how, uh, we, we all know about Nelson Mandela and Gandhi, and these are great people, but we all have influential leaders amongst us. You know, the people who have helped us, who have influenced us. So if you could bring us these stories, and you, if you could tell it within two minutes, that would be great. So I don't want you to view this as another project or another deadline. You just stand here and tell us a story about an inspirational leadership. And to me, leadership is not being a manager or a prime minister or a king. It's about, do you have influence on people or not? As simple as that. So with this, I would like to thank you very much for uh, coming today for your participation. And uh, I wish you a very nice weekend. Thank you very much. <laughs>